all he ever wanted was to fly. Fly far away, away from all of these concerns that all of his bat friends had. Bats. What is it like to be a bat? His name? I do not know. I don't think bats have names, but I'm not a bat expert. On March 15th, 2009, he made a decision. He was going to space. For no bat has ever gone to where he was going to go. Injured, frightened, he waited patiently for them to launch one of their metal beasts into the wilderness of space. Space. What is it? Holding on to the foam insulation of what the humans called Space Shuttle Discovery, he decided that it was time to make history. Bat history. He may have had a broken wing and a few scorched hair on his body, but his spirit was unbroken. He was determined to reach the new frontier for all of the bat kind and to prove to the naysayers that there was more than just this earth. That though their squeaks do not reach the outer space, there was more out there than we have not yet found. He held on tightly to the foamy surface of the tank, refusing to let go of his dreams, not wanting to back away from what would very likely be his last flight ever. But this was his choice. This was a sacrifice he was willing to make. He was ready to die. To give birth to a legend. Reaching the stars, the invisible, the imperceptible objects that other bats are not aware of because, you know, they're sort of blind. But nevertheless, he knew they were there. We don't really know why, but he knew. He could feel them in his tiny mammalian heart. Which of course is a good reminder for everyone because bats are mammals. They drink milk when they're young. And milk calls them. Milk. The Milky Way. The galaxy. That's what it's all about. He heard the engines turning on. He felt the heat and the pressure of the air around him build up. He was afraid, but not afraid enough to let go. The memories of his youth streamed in front of him like some kind of a Twitch gameplay video. Catching bugs in mid-flight, eating fruit, hanging upside down with his friends, squeaking. Lots and lots of squeaking. He was clearly not ready to die. But would a bat die if he was about to become a legend? The sudden rush of emotions reminded him of his parents' squeaks. He kind of thought he could almost see their faces, but he really couldn't, because he's a bat, and bats don't see very well. The shuttle started to take off. He felt the air rushing past his little frame. The sounds were overwhelming. So this is what it was like to fly at faster than bat speed. With terrifying speed, he jetted through the skies, still holding on, still being a brave little bat that he was. And then, for the last time in his short life, he felt happy. He let go of all of his fears and realized that this was... this was it. The ultimate dream for every little bat. He became an astrobat. He reached a place so far away that no sound could be made, so cold that even the little hair on his thick fur coat started to freeze. So black that actually everything for him was technically black because he's a bat and bats are horrible at using their googly eyes. Then time stopped. He died. He died, but he will still live with all of us forever. His bravery, his pursuit of the ultimate dream must never be forgotten. The final flight of Astrobat will always be remembered. The ultimate pursuit for every milk drinker, every mammal on this planet Earth. We will never forget you. You are the true hero of the Milky Way. May your squeaks be never forgotten. May you fly forever, Astrobat. May you fly forever.